WP eStore offers a pay-per-view feature that allows you to sell access to specific posts or pages within your WordPress website. This pay-per-view feature eliminates the need for any membership software that is typically used to protect content. From a technical standpoint, the way it works is you're selling a WordPress permalink as a digital product in WP eStore. After purchase, the customer clicks a link to gain access to the WordPress page using WP eStore's authenticated page redirect feature. The page URL, or permalink, the customer is buying access to is called the APR target. The APR target contains a shortcode, and the content within the shortcode is what is protected. While this is a pay-per-view feature, it is the encrypted cookie that WP eStore adds to the customer's device that determines the amount of time the customer is allowed access and in some cases, the number of times the customer can view the content. The shortcode used to protect the content, as well as a couple of settings for the product in WP eStore, determines the information that is set within the cookie. You can place the purchase button for a protected page anywhere within your site, and you have the option to include the link to the protected content on the thank you page that the customer gets redirected to after purchase. In this demonstration, I'm going to include the purchase button within the protected page itself and hide it after purchase. I will not be including the link within the thank you page in this demonstration. Instead, I will be using the link within the thank you email to gain access to the protected content. To begin, let's create the page that contains the protected content. Within your WordPress dashboard, Go to Pages, then Add New. You can create a new post instead, if desired. Give the page a title that describes what the page contains. Add the opening and closing shortcode tags to which you will include the protected content within. The shortcode to use is WP underscore eStore underscore APR. Be sure to also close this shortcode as shown on the screen. Within the opening shortcode, add the parameter expiry with the value of zero. You can replace the zero with any amount of time in minutes, which will limit the amount of time the customer can gain access to the content after purchase. Now, add the parameter status with the value unexpired. Unexpired means that the customer can gain access to the content enclosed within the shortcode only when the cookie has not yet expired. Now, place the protected content between the opening and closing of the shortcode. Update or publish the page, then view it in your browser. Copy the URL exactly from the address bar, as we will need that URL when creating the product for this WordPress permalink. To create the product, go to WP eStore, then add slash edit products. Give the product a name and a price. Expand the digital content details section. In the digital product URL box, paste in the URL you copied from the previous step. Now, replace HTTP with APRTP. Leave the S in place if it exists. You can optionally set the length of time the customer can gain access to this page by specifying the number of hours within the duration of download link box. Leave it blank to make this a true pay-per-view product. Optionally, specify a value in the download limit count box to indicate how many times the customer can click the link to gain access to the protected page. Enter 1 in this box to make this a true pay-per-view product. However, to avoid issues, you may want to give the customer the liberty to click the link multiple times. 
To offer unlimited access, set both the duration of download link and the download limit count values to 999. With all that said, there is a global setting in WPE Store that will be used if you do not specify any values in these two boxes. By default, WPE Store has a download count of three, which in this case will mean that the customer can click the link just three times. This screen will be displayed to the customer if he or she attempts to view the protected content after the third click. Click the Save Product button. Now, use either a Add to Cart or Buy Now button WP eStore shortcode to display the Purchase button for this pay-per-view product. I'm going to use a Buy Now button in this example. Remember that you can essentially include this payment button on any page within your site, but I will be including it within the protected page. In the same way we used the shortcode for the protected content, we can do the same for the purchase button, but this time we should set the status value to expired. That way we can hide the button after purchase. Edit the protected page to include this button. Now view the page and make a test purchase. Click the link within the email to verify that it works as expected. 